गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज ए यू नो आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वाइज हाउ टू चेंज फ्रॉम एक्टिव वाइज टू पैसिव वाइज एंड वी हैव गॉन थ्रू सम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वाइज एंड डिड सम एक्सरसाइजेस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू different kinds of states how to change from active to passive voice as you all know that passive voice is totally dependent on tenses if you don't know how to identify the tenses you will not able to understand how to change from active to passive voice so first of all and uh, try to memorize the rules of tenses and then start doing this chapter so we all know that how many states are there in english there are four states in ten uh, in tenses and definite states continuous states perfect state and perfect continuous states and uh, today we shall we shall see in definite states in definite states of any time mean to say either it is a present time or past time or future time so we shall see and i'll give you examples one by one and try to know what changes do we see when we switch from present to past or future let us see so this is your in definite state so in definite state as i told you when you are going to change from active to passive voice you must keep in mind one thing and that is b plus v b and this is the concept that we are going to change in different districts so my uncle gave me My uncle gave me a watch. On my birthday. My uncle gave me a watch on my birthday. First of all, uh, let us check what kind of tense is it. As I told you in previous classes, what you have to see in the sentence, you have to see the form of verb, and this is second form of verb, and that is why it is past indefinite tense. If it is past indefinite tense, what you have to do? First form of is is am are. that represents present time and second form of be is was oblique verb that represents past time so what you have to do you have to apply the form of be let us see where is the object in this in the in this sentence there are two objects object 1 and object 2 but dear students while changing from active to passive voice the object which is which is which has been given close to the verb is to be written first and this is what this is your subject subject verb object and this is what 
this is your additional information additional information you have nothing got to do with the additional information so what you have to do as a we have identified this is past indefinite tense and let us see, uh, let us convert the sentence from active to passive voice so this will come first as it will become the receiver of the action it will become the receiver of the action me will become the subject as i it will become i and we all know that in passive voice we always write third form of the verb third form of the verb and that is common with all the passive voice this is third form of the verb and now if i write like this i given there is no sentence is to be used like this all over the world it is incorrect what you have to do you have to write the helping verb and helping verb will decide whether it is present indefinite or past indefinite or future indefinite which thing will decide helping verb will decide and this is what this is helping verb this is past indefinite tense and you have to write here the form of verb which form second form so what is the second form of b the second form of b is was oblique verb but according to the subject you have to write was okay see i was i was given what what a watch i was given a watch on my birthday by my uncle my assistant i was given a watch on my birthday by my uncle and that is the passive voice of the given sentence my uncle gave me a watch on my birthday which state is it it is indefinite state let us see the and uh, this is past indefinite tense let us see the present indefinite tense people what we have to do first of all you have to identify the tense so let us see the form of verb speak speak you is your first form of uh, first form of verb and that is why it is simple present tense or present indefinite tense we have identified now uh, let us change the sentence from active to passive voice this is verb and this is what this is your subject and as close to the verb it is your object and this is what all over the world is your additional information you have nothing got to do with the additional information while changing from active to passive voice so it will become your object of the verb will become receiver of the action so right here first english and third form of verb is spoken without any confusion without any doubt let me tell you when whenever you are going to change from active to passive you have to write the third form of verb without any confusion 
विदाउट एनी डाउट नो मैटर विच स्टेट विच टेंस इज टू बी गिवेन देयर यू हैव टू राइट थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ दी वर्ड आई हैव रिटेन यूर थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ ऑफ वर्क देन वॉट आई हैव टू डू आई हैव टू सी वॉट कैंड ऑफ टेंस इट इज इट इज सिंपल प्रजेंट टेंस सो राइट यू हैव द हेल्पिंग वर्क विच एक्सप्रेस सिंपल प्रजेंट टेंस एंड यू हैव the form of b the form of b will decide the tense so write the first form of verb first form of b is is am are we all know that first form of b is is am are but english is singular so write here english is we can't apply am here because am is always used by i You, uh, you can't write here are because if your subject is plural, write here are. But your subject is singular. That is why you write is. In English, is is spoken. Is spoken is uh, as, uh, as I told you, uh, it is always used with the third form of the verb. Whenever you are going to change from active to passive voice, so English is is spoken by people all over the world, and that is the. passive form of the given sentence people is speaking english all over the world english is spoken by people english is spoken by people are over the nasi it's complete it's very easy if you go through the lecture take a pause and try to understand what i am uh, what i am telling you it will quite clear to you all how to change from active to passive voice and dear students let me tell you one more thing that is very important to you all that uh, it is not the case of uh, just uh, for class 7 in class 8th 9th 10th 11th in, in in your whole life you have to use passive voice as you ever try to buy the newspaper and see the headlines and all over things over there were you will see lots of sentences are to be used with the help of passive voice so it's very important to you all to understand at the very beginning when to use pa- passive voice and when not to use passive voice and this is what about same as uh, simple present tense and this is past indefinite tense let us see the next state let us uh, let us see the next time that is future indefinite this is past indefinite this is present indefinite and let us see the future indefinite where should i write if i write here is it visible let me let me wipe it off you don't worry let me wipe it off I will buy a new phone soon. I will buy a new phone soon. See the sentence. It's very easy to identify with the help of the. forms of verb let us see where is it forms of verb this is your first form and it is called base form it is called base form and it represents future future it is first form and it will become future indefinite future indefinite you cannot say this sentence future continuous just because of there is no ing form given in the sentence you cannot say this sentence future perfect just because there is no third form is to be used in the sentence so you have to say future indefinite tense first of all what what you have to do you have to identify the uh, tense then you will understand uh, you will able to 
convert the sentence from active to passive voice. Okay, student. See, I will buy a new phone. Buy what? A new phone. It is your object, and it is your additional part. You can say it is your adverb. It's your pronoun. I am not going to tell you the parts of his speech. Uh, I'll cover the parts of his speech in next video or any other videos. Uh, let us see the how to change. A new phone. A new phone will become the receiver of the action. So right here, a new phone. What you have to do? You have to write will. A new phone will, and third one will, what? B O U G S T. A new phone will bought, but what you have to do here? You have to write the helping verb to make the sentence passive voice. Otherwise, it will not become the passive voice. This is the concept B plus B three. You cannot write here is a mark. First form of verb of uh, first form of B is is a mark, which represents present time. Second form of B is was oblique verb, which represents past time. So what you have to do? You have to write the base form B here. Why? Why that question is there? Why? Why I should be here? Just because of it is called modal verb. It is called modal verb. It's a modal verb, and modal verb always take the base form of verb. A modal verb always takes the base form of verb. That is why it is. Uh, it, 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 you have to write here the B form of the verb. Okay, so a new phone will be bought, bought by me. What I mean? So, see, see the sentence. It's very easy. So, dear students, you have to write a few sentences. First of all, write indefinite states. Uh, write the uh, few sentences of indefinite states. And try to change all the indefinite states from active to passive voice. If is there any problem arises while doing all these activities, let me know. I'll try to solve your problem as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.